Hi guys, welcome back and I hope you're well. Today I have a boohoo haul. I haven't done a boohoo haul in so long. Went on there the other day and ended up with a whole pile of stuff arriving at my door the next day. What do you know? In the UK right now, it is quite nice and warm and sunny and summery and I don't want to jinx it, but fingers crossed it's here to stay for at least another day because that would be nice. As always, I will show you the item and then we'll try it on. And of course, all the links can be found in the down bar down below. So let's get straight into it, shall we? The first thing I picked up was this little yellow polka dot dress. And I absolutely love yellow at the moment. It looks great with the tan, great in the really nice weather. I really love the fact that this is polka dot and yellow. You guys know I already love polka dot anyway, so it's basically like my dream dress. It's a really nice kind of lightweight material. I can imagine this would be amazing for holiday. You could probably wear it over your bikini or in the evening or even daytime to lunch. It's a very versatile piece. I got this in a size 10 because I did want it to be quite like loose and not too fitting. And I find with Boohoo, if I go up a size, the length of the dress is normally a little bit longer, which I prefer. And this was only 15 pounds. So it's a super, super cheap piece. The style of the dress is like a wrap over dress. So as you can see here, we've got this little tie which wraps over. So you've got a big polka dot print and then a little kind of smaller dotty print. And then on the back again, we've got the small dotty print with the big polka dot on the bottom. We'll give this a go and see what it looks like on. I'm hoping it's not see-through. The material is quite thin. So this yellow dress I actually really really love. However, I feel like I need to wear a white vest underneath just to protect this bit opening over my bra. Also, as you can see, I've left my big black pants on because I wanted to show you that it is a little bit see-through. However, I feel like if you have a nude like little skirt slip that would be great because to be honest, with a dress like this, it can fly open in the wind. You kind of want to be making sure you've got a slip underneath anyway, just to protect your modesty and just to feel comfortable. Those little bits aside, I actually really, really love this. I feel like the colour is perfect. I love this really like bright mustard yellow. It works really nicely in this weather and I love the polka dot print. I love the big polka dots with the small polka dots and I feel like actually the style of this is actually quite flattering. I really, really like it. In fact, I actually think I love it. So yeah, a really cute dress. Sticking with dresses and with polka dots, I have another polka dot dress for you. This one is actually a black version and I really, really love this um, on the model online. Again, it's one of those dresses that's quite difficult to show you when it's like this. So we'll try it on in a minute. But just to show you what it's like, it's black polka dot and we've got these really nice like floaty sleeves here. And then at the front, we've actually got like a tie area. So you tie this into a knot and then we've got a tiny little hole like underneath, so you can see some skin through that as well. But at the back as well, we've got a nice big keyhole kind of detailing, and it's a really nice kind of fit and flare dress. So it goes in at the waist, and then it just completely flares out. It's very floaty. Material-wise, it's kind of like, like kind of like a silky material that's a little bit thicker. Really like the material. I think this is gonna be amazing for like weddings in summer or special events, but also I can imagine this with little sandals during the day with a straw bag, a straw hat, that kind of vibe. I got this again in a size 10 and it is 20 pounds. So not the cheapest dress on Boohoo, but I think for the actual quality, I would pay 20 pound happily for this. So I feel like this polka dot dress is really, really cute. I love the length. I love that it's kind of this flary material, but it's more fitted around the waist. I love the oversized floaty sleeves as well. And I also love the length that they are too. I feel like that's a really flattering length. Material wise, it's actually really nice and it's a really boiling day today. I have both of the windows shut to film and I'm actually really cool in this. So it's a really kind of cooling material. The only thing I'm not sure about is this little tie detailing here. Now, as you can see underneath, you've got a bit of space for a bit of skin to come through, which I really do like. I feel like it breaks up the dress a little bit, kind of makes it look like a top and a skirt, which I like. However, I feel like this material needs to be a little bit shorter. I feel like it's a little bit too long. And I do wish that both sides were the black material rather than the lining material. I feel like that ruins it there. I have tried to tie the knot so that only the black material shows, but obviously when you're walking around, it does move and it's really difficult to kind of keep it there. You could again put a little safety pin in or you could stitch it just to keep it where it is. I feel like this dress is really flattering, really summery, and I really like how it looks. 
um, it would look really nice with a straw bag, which of course I have. Um, this one is from Next, and I feel like this is the perfect addition to this outfit. All I need now is my big shades on, a big straw hat, to be walking down the beach in Spain, and I'm sorted. <laughs> so next up, we have a little dress that I just couldn't resist. I saw it on there and I was like, you know what, that's coming home with me. It's coming home with Laura. How pretty is this print? It's a pink floral print, as you can see. I think I really like the shape of this. So we've got quite a low V, but then in this middle section at your waist, you've got like a, I mean, I don't want to call it like a corset, but it's almost like a belt built into the dress with a little tie up detailing here. Um, and I really liked that. I thought that would be really flattering. I love the fact that the print isn't like in your face. It's very kind of like spaced out and it's not too close together. It's not too repetitive, which I love. Sleeve wise are very floaty. And again, the skirt is a very floaty kind of shape at the bottom. The only thing is I wish it was a little bit longer. Size wise, again, I got a size 10 because I didn't want it to be too fitted and too short. And it was £22, which, again, I don't think is that bad. I feel like £22 for a little cute summer dress is actually about what you're going to be paying now on the high street. So I think I can bear that. So the little pink dress. So I really, really love this dress. Love the shape of it. I think that this little kind of band bit here is amazing because actually you can pull this really tight if you want and it kind of really cinches in at the waist. Like... I could tighten it that extra if I wanted to. It is quite low cut, I'm not going to lie. You can see a little tiny bit of my bra here, but I feel like I'm comfortable because it actually covers in here. This is a section that I'd be more worried about. That bit is actually not my boobs, that's just like my chest area. So I feel like I don't mind showing off that bit. I would be inclined to just kind of go braless if you can. Everything is perfect except the length. It is far too short for me, but I do have a long body. So I guess on a normal proportion person, this actually wouldn't be as short. So definitely give it a go if you don't have a long body like me. I feel like if this was maybe down to my knees down there, I would absolutely love this and wear it every single day. I'd probably even sleep in it. These are the perfect addition because they're just nude, they're simple, they don't really take away from the pattern. And these are just little Amazon finds, actually. Very cheap, I'll leave the link to them below. And they're really comfortable as well. So I feel like this kind of shoe and dress go really nicely. I'd wear it during the day, I'd wear it in the evening. I just wish on me, personally, it was a little bit longer. So next up, we might as well stick to dresses. And of course, Laura bought another floral dress. <laughs> I've got two polka dot dresses and two floral dresses, but you know, I was obviously in the vibe. I needed floral, I needed polka dots. This one, however, I absolutely love. So this dress is actually more of a maxi dress. And I find maxi dresses really flattering for summer. They're the kind of dresses that you can wear when you're feeling a little bit like you need a tan or you haven't shaved your legs, or it's kind of like that weather where it's not dress weather, but it's not trouser weather. You need something in between grab a maxi dress. We've basically got this really nice kind of racer neckline, which I personally really like. Even my wedding dress had a racer neckline. Then it goes down into these really lovely, like floaty sections of material. So we've got one tier and then another tier later on, and then it's longer at the back and shorter at the front. So I got this in a size 10 and this was 25 pound, which if this looks as good as I'm hoping it looks, 25 pound is actually really good for a dress like this. So fingers crossed, it looks nice. It's the kind of thing I would wear during the day with sandals and again, a little straw bag. But also I would wear this in the evening or to a wedding with heels. I feel like it's a really versatile piece that's gonna work every occasion, every kind of place you need it to. I think you could wear this easily in England, but also abroad would look amazing as well. So I absolutely love this dress on. I feel like this is my favorite thing from the haul so far. I love the fact it's got these material kind of tiers of like layers going down. I feel that gives it a really nice shape and it's actually really flattering because it just skims over all of your body, which is always a must. I love this neckline. It would look really nice with your hair down, but also really nice with kind of like an updo. This is something I would personally wear anywhere. I would wear it during the day with some sandals. I would wear it in the evening with some chunkier heels like what I've got on today. These are from Amazon. Again, amazing place for shoes. I'll leave the link to them below. Um, so I love the kind of clumpiness of the shoes with the floatiness of the dress. And also you could wear it with a more of a stiletto heel for maybe a wedding or a special occasion. Maybe a nice little pink hat. But yeah, I really, really like it. Love it, in fact, and I think it's such a nice, flattering outfit. And as well, it's super affordable, which you guys know I always love my affordable pieces. 
Okay, so if you guys have watched some of my haul videos in the past, you will know that I do like to take a little bit of a risk. It doesn't always work out. So, I actually picked up a cord, which basically means a matching top and bottoms. And it's in a very, very garish print, but this is the top. <laughs> it is a purple check, which actually I kind of like. Like on the model, this looked amazing. So we have the top here. Um, this top, as you can see, has quite thick straps, which I really, really like. I like the fact that you won't be able to see your bra straps. It is a crop top, but I'm hoping that the bottoms are high enough to kind of hide my belly button area. Um, and I think it's a really nice kind of like classic top. It's very simple, very kind of structured, and basically what it, I mean, what can I say about it? It's just a top. This was um, £10, the top, and I got it in size 10. And then obviously we have the matching trousers. Now, these actually feel like they're going to be so comfortable because they're not like jeans, they're just like basically leggings and I'm not sure how flattering they're going to be because of that, but we'll give them a go. The trousers, again, I got a size 10 and they were £16, so all in all you're looking at a cord for £26 if you buy the two items, which again isn't that bad, so we'll see what they look like on together. I'm not too sure. I feel like this outfit is a little bit crazy. A little bit out there I kind of like it in a weird way I feel like this is the kind of thing that I would be given on a shoot to wear and I'd really enjoy wearing it but I probably would not leave the house in it that's how I feel I'm not sure I'm feeling it love the color though and I think on someone that is a little bit more daring and would wear this kind of like maybe clubbing or out in the evening with heels like this I feel like this is probably for you. I like the top, I wish it was a little bit longer, maybe to here, and then I feel like I could pull the trousers down a little bit, but I guess, to be honest, it's a really cute cohort. If you're after something like this, and you love going all out with colours and patterns, and you're up for kind of wearing the trousers with something a little bit different, then I say go for it. It's a really cheap, kind of affordable piece, and it definitely makes a statement, that is for sure. So, these are some jogging bottoms. I had to get these in a size 8 and they actually look like they've come up quite small and long. Didn't have a size 10 in stock, they were really low on stock but I thought I wanted to try these and see what they were like anyway and I thought if they're too tight I can always order a bigger size. So the reason I got these particular jogging bottoms is because down the side they have this little rainbow strip which I just really like, I like a little bit of rainbow in my wardrobe sometimes, maybe not with everything, but with little clashes like this, I feel like it looks quite cute. And again, little black top tucked in, just really handy item to just wear down the shops, just to town, out for lunch. Again, if you're going on holiday, these are a really nice kind of pair of trousers to travel in as well. If anyone knows of any jogging bottoms that have this rainbow strip down the size, that maybe are a little bit more flattering and a bit more kind of true to size, then let me know in the comments below because I am after a pair, I quite like them. So these jogging bottoms aren't actually as bad as I thought they were gonna be, which is always a good sign. They definitely are more like leggings than jogging bottoms though. I would give them that, they are very, very tight. But again, I probably could have done with a size 10, but they were out of stock. If you check on these and they have got stock in, leave me a size 10, but also maybe size up. I actually really love this rainbow detailing down the side. I feel like it gives them a little bit of a funky twist. However, I don't really like the way it's kind of puckered a little bit, but I feel like, what can you do? How can you sort that out without kind of like making the rainbow print in the actual legging? I just popped on some little Adidas um, trainers again. I'll leave the link to them below. These are so comfortable. And I actually feel like it gives it a really nice sporty chick kind of vibe. I have actually folded up the bottom as well because I feel like they were a little bit long for me. If you do have maybe shorter legs like me, then you might wanna just roll them up or have them taken up a little bit. Then a top to kind of go with the joggers, but also I was just kind of intrigued to see what this would look like. It's this little black top, and it is kind of like a crop top, so I would say this comes maybe just below your belly button, but as you can see, it has this really nice kind of zip detailing at the top. So we've got quite a high neckline, and then we've got this zip with a massive circle ring pull, which I absolutely love. I've got this thing about things being circle on zips, I don't know why. It is slightly ribbed, but it's kind of like a material that I used to wear to school gymnastics club. Like, you know them leggings you used to wear? It's not lycra, but it's not soft cotton. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. But this is the little top. I actually really like this. I don't know if I like the material that much. It feels quite, 
I don't know, it's quite a weird material to get used to wearing, but I feel like it's actually quite flattering. It goes quite well with jogging bottoms as well, but I feel like because you can make this lower, you can go and go for more of an evening dressy kind of style, or you can pull it right up and go for something a little bit more casual daytime. I don't hate it, I don't love it, somewhere in the middle, but yeah, let me know what you think about this one. So the last clothing item is this little top and this was one of those purchases I just popped in my basket at the very end because I just needed something else in there. This is the top. So this is a little black top with giant yellow sunflowers all over it. I really like this because I liked the neckline. I feel like this kind of square neckline is really really cute. Again I have mentioned that I really like kind of yellow at the moment. I feel like this is just a really cute kind of take on a yellow top without being fully yellow. The good thing about this top though is like a bra, you can actually adjust the strap. So that's really good if you want it higher or lower. I really like that and this was £10. So, I mean, not the cheapest vest top I've ever bought in my life, but I feel like because of the material, it's almost like a bit more of like a luxurious vest top. I feel like it's the kind of thing you could definitely dress up in the evening. You could wear it during the day. It's kind of that really versatile vest top that just kind of keep going back to. Okay, so this is the sunflower top, and as you can see, I feel like it's a little bit big. However, I feel like if I got the eight, maybe it would be a bit too fitted, because I like how the bottom section looks. I just feel it looks like a little bit big around the armpit. So I'm not sure if this is something that I would be keeping. It goes really nicely with my yellow shoes. Now these are from Next, and so are the jeans, of course, all additional items that I wear these pieces with, I'll leave the link to below, just in case you fancy those too. I think it's a really, really lovely top. I just wish it fitted a little bit nicer. Also, it does feel like it could be a bit static as well. You know when it kind of like sticks to you a little bit. It's kind of doing that. Hairspray does help. If you have that problem, spray on some hairspray underneath like so. It does help. Such a shame because it's a really cute top, but never mind. So next up I have a pair of heels. Now these again are a bit more of a daring purchase for me. I don't really wear heels a lot. I don't really go out clubbing anymore. Kind of at that age where I'm like, you know what? I really want to go to a nice pub and sit in the quiet and have some chips and a drink and a Coke and a coffee. <laughs> I'd actually prefer a coffee to a vodka these days. That is my life. But anyway, these shoes. I bought these in a size four because that's the size my feet are. Um, and these were 28 pound. I really, really like the heel on these. I don't know if you can see it very well on screen, but basically it's a flat heel. And of course, the front of these, which you can't see on the screen at all probably, are perspex. So if I put my hand in there, you can kind of see here and here. We've got two kind of perspex straps, which actually I thought is a really good idea because even though it's probably not to everyone's taste, these shoes are gonna go with everything. Really like these and I thought for 28 pound they weren't actually that pricey, so. That's my reasoning and I'm sticking with it. I really love this Perspex idea. It's completely see-through, so it kind of looks like you're wearing nothing, which I really, really like. I love the fact they're new. I love the heel. However, these are way, way too high for me. I feel like my foot is at like a 90 degree angle almost, as you can see. I think I would really panic about walking around in these. However, I love the idea. I love the Perspex and it's definitely something I'm going to be looking into it in the future because I feel like these would just go with absolutely everything. So if you're someone that's used to wearing heels, you wear heels in the evening, and this is something that does not phase you, then definitely give these a go. Again, they're not the most comfortable heels I've ever tried in my life, but they're affordable and they're cheap. And if it's just an evening out, you could definitely have a few glasses of wine and get through the night, hopefully. Next up we have the shoes from Tangle Hell. Um, these were 22 pound and I got them in size four again, because it's my size. I really love this kind of heel. It's not too high, not too low. It still gives your leg a really nice shape, but because it's so clumpy, I feel like this is a kind of heel you can wear anywhere. You can wear this on grass, you're not gonna sink into it. You can wear it on a pebbled street, you're not gonna fall over. And I just really love a clumpy heel. It's always been my kind of favorite thing to go for. Stilettos and me do not mix. I really like the fact that on the front, they are kind of like all tied up and knotted and very textured, which is basically my kind of shoe. However, this long bit here wraps around your ankle. Now, I really like the idea of these. Probably not a practical kind of daytime shoe. I would probably save these for like holiday when I know I'm only gonna wear them in the evening. I feel like it is gonna be a pain. Like, I can't even put these shoes together 
without getting all these bits tangled up. So I don't know how these are going to work, whether I'm going to keep these, whether I'm going to like them, but I like the idea of them and that's the reason I bought them basically. But just one little other thing is that inside the heel we've actually got a really nice kind of mirror detailing, it's like a silver detailing which I really like. So yeah, so as you can see I've got the strappy shoes on and I actually think I like them a little bit more than I thought I would and actually they're super comfortable even though you've got so much going on down there. I feel like I could probably walk around in these for quite a long time and not feel kind of uncomfortable. Heel wise I absolutely love the heel, I think the height is perfect for me and I love how clumpy it is as well. If you want more of a gladiator style you could tie them all the way up your leg as well if that's the style you're going for. So that's everything I picked up from Boohoo, it's quite a mammoth haul but I hope you you guys enjoyed it and found some little items that you like as well in the meantime if you want to keep up to date with me throughout the week until next Sunday then you can follow me on social media of course I will leave the links to those channels below of course if there's anything featured today including the stuff that I'm wearing you can find all the links to every single thing down below in the description bar I put the direct link so you can shop from there so yeah not that I'm being an enabler at all but shopping is healthy for the soul just so you know. So guys, have a lovely week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week for another video. Bye.